Hi, Francois, and uh, we let's talk about Microsoft Forms. I wanted to not just explain how to make a form, because we've got, we've got different videos for that as well, but more about what do we do once, this, once the form has been created. So I'm going to show you this example here. I have lots of forms, great, but they are only attached to me. In fact, they're not, I don't even have forms here. Oh, I have one. I know. I have known shared with me so it means all the forms I have are only private to myself and you can see it because it says my name under it so that's quite an issue because if I leave the organization or if I want to delegate to someone and said like this is it that's your own form it's still going to be saved under my own OneDrive that's how forms are being saved so what we need to do nice form by the way great is that we go back one step once we have finished our private personal form, we need to copy it. So I use the little drop down. Then you you don't straight move, move it because if you move it, then you kind of lose your own version. So I like to copy it. So I keep it in my OneDrive, but then I copy. Now we have a new copy. It doesn't show here, but it tells me at the top that it's actually appearing in all my forms. Okay. So it's showing here as number two. So I can now move it. Okay. I can now move it into a different place. So let's click on the move and it shows me all my organization site or in fact Microsoft Teams or Office 365 groups that I have access as long as it's a modern SharePoint. So modern SharePoint allows me to host a lot more than just files. So here we can see that. So I'm going to go and select my dev environment, my dev site, click move. So now the little form is actually physically moving away from my personal to my uh, to my shared area. So if we go on the shared, I should see it coming in a bit here. But best of all is that I will be able to find it in my Teams and in my SharePoint. So already let's look at recent. It's come, it came back here, but this time it's not just written with my name. It also has the the site right so let's just rename it so that we know what it is let's just go inside the form and here i can just say quick menu choice and just to be to be clear i'm going to say dev because i know it's on my dev environment what else can we notice here is that at the top here top of the screen we can see that it's actually inside the paper blade dev so that's interesting because now it's not private to myself if i click on this link it brings me to my so it says group but actually a group an office 365 group in uh, in office 365 includes outlook includes sharepoint and includes a lot of uh, things like forms so if I click around here, I have a look at this, I can find my way and just uh, see that it's a form, yes. And I can just uh, guess that I'm inside like a kind of group, as I said, Office 365 group, or, or maybe maybe even a SharePoint site, right? So let's go back to this, uh, this link and uh, open my form so we can always, it's only opening on browser anyway. So let's open the form again now we have the link we can see what's going on we have all our questions that we can modify but let's go and see responses so i'm going to do a bit more response let's do preview and oops let's put myself on a pizza let's uh, answer that quickly so we're going to say yes thank you thank you i want all this bad food well this is good actually non-dairy form has been submitted uh let's go back and see the results now so we have two responses i will have more later i can see the result of course on the form itself but i have this link opening link in excel if we were having a private form the link would be saved on my onedrive let's click on it let's see where it is being saved now of course it's saying opening on onedrive but you know how it works so we'll see when it Okay, and here we can see the results. We have, it's going to update, I suppose. So we can go to data, refresh, and it's going to bring me my data in real time. Come on. Here we go. So we have our two entries for now that uh, have been recorded. They are inside Excel, but where are they? If I click on the breadcrumb, I can see that it's in the site, Paperblade Dev, and then 
shared document which shows me that I had a previous version here and I have my latest one here so if I um, if I click yeah this is the Excel spreadsheet but the idea here is that automatically forms have saved all my results inside document library and that's the great thing about forms being shared in a site now I can go away I can remove myself from the site uh, the, the form that I have created from the organization and then everything will work again yeah this form is on the same site of this now you can see that it's actually saved inside library not inside inside the general so it means that if I go to my teams and I go to file the teams that is linked to that one then I won't see anything here so it might be useful to add a link to see the results etc so that's something that we may have to to cut for later so this is all about I want to discuss about the uh, form because it's a little bit tricky to understand why we have a form we created it's super fast but the form only stays private so now I hope you think of sharing it to a site so that everybody can actually manage it later and all the results are being saved on SharePoint again let me know if that's useful